What's going on guys? It's been a long while since I've made a video. Um, we've done a lot with the car. Finally got it back on the road, but you know, we did the shaft mount rockers this winter. Um, totally went through the trans, all new clutches in the trans. Uh, basically rebuilt the trans from top to bottom, put a bolt together, pro torque converter in it. Got it on the road, drive, drove it last week. Everything feels cool. Um, but we won't know until we get to the track of all the changes equal a seven, which is kind of the goal now. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, we'll be able to get to the track and do a little bit of testing. But in the meantime, a lot of you people that watch the channel know that I detail cars, paint correction, ceramic coating. It's, it's what allows me to have this car. Basically it's all side hustle money. And uh, today I'm doing a buddy's uh, Ferrari 430. So I figured it'd be a, a cool video to, uh, to shoot. It's kind of a unique car, really cool. Um, it's gonna be cold here in Michigan, so we're gonna get the garage hot, push this car out, bring the Ferrari in here. Um, we're gonna wash it in the driveway first, which brings me to a new detail tool that I got that uh, I really like. I've done two cars with it so far, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys uh, what I got. So here it is, guys. This is uh, the new electric power washer um, that these fine folks uh, I won't lie, they sent me this uh, to do a review on it. It has a 100 foot hose, which uh, reels out real easy. You can lock it in place, reels back in. This goes back and forth to keep it all, always tight. Um, it comes with a foam cannon bottle, which works really well. Water goes in right here. I'm gonna put a, a spigot right here in the garage. It's actually gonna come down at the bottom. But right now I gotta run the hose in from out front. It's got a nice gun with a bunch of different tips and it mounts on the wall. It's the coolest thing. You don't have to pull the power washer out every time. All you got to do is turn it on once this is hooked up and uh, you're off to the races. Like I said, this is a hundred foot of cord so this can go all the way to the end of my driveway and uh, this thing absolutely rips. I'll get it going here. We'll, uh, we'll get going on the Ferrari but I'll definitely put a link below to uh, to this product they got a bunch of other power washers and stuff but i highly recommend this thing and i'm not just saying that that since they sent this to me as you guys know i've done a couple reviews on other things that people have sent me not super stoked on them but this thing is the truth highly recommend it check the link below all right we got the water hooked up I'll show you how this bad boy works <laughs> Check out this Ferrari, T. Hey. Clicks in like that. Got different bits. We're gonna put the. We're gonna put the foam around here. Get inside, dude. It's 30 degrees out here. So it comes with this. Comes with this uh, foam cannon. inside and get to work. First thing I do on these cars is uh, use a thickness uh, tester. This just tells you how thick the paint and clear is on the car. Um, so I just go around and I'll check a few different spots. That's really thick. Just uh, to kind of know what you're working with, how much you can take off. These older Ferraris have pretty soft paint. So we're good here. This car's got, got tons of paint on it, tons of clear. So first thing we're gonna do is kind of assess the paint after washing it. I got pretty good idea of uh, game plan on this car. 
He is gonna clear bra the entire thing, so all I'm doing is paint correcting it. He's already put clear bra on just the bumper and the headlights, so we're gonna polish the whole car, uh, paint correct it, and then polish it, get it looking 100%. I think what I'm gonna do is use Sonax uh, Perfect Finish on the first coat. I really like this stuff. It can be used as a standalone, one stop only, but this is a Ferrari, so we're not gonna end uh, with that level of shine. We're gonna go to Car Pro Essence. This is by far my favorite polish right now. This is unbelievable, uh, the finish that this brings out. And uh, then there's also Essence Plus for you guys that already have ceramic on your car. This can go right over the ceramic. Um, tons of gloss this will really bring it out if you find a spot this is kind of clean it up before a show or whatever this can go right over ceramic don't have to re-ceramic it um, but like i said we're going to use essence and we're going to use rupez pads i'm going to use uh ultra fine for uh the finish and i'm going to use a yellow pad um small yellow pad on the little da and then uh, six incher on the bigger um, Rupes polisher. So we'll get going here and uh, see how good we can get this thing looking. Okay, we're gonna start with Sonax uh, Perfect Finish here, 4.6. Gonna use uh, Rupes um, DA Fine. And we're gonna use the old trusty uh, Bigfoot 15. And then where the convertible top meets the, the body, this is all real scratched up. So we're gonna have to bring out the big guns to get all this cleaned up. <laughs> I like to just do a little test spot like this first. Honestly, I might need to go bigger than that. Still some pretty small scratches. I don't know if you can see them on this camera or not, but. One more change of plans. I ended up going to Cut Max. Um, this is like one of the heavier cut, cutting uh, compounds that I use. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, there's some scratches on this paint. White's pretty hard to see, but as I get the, the light on it, um, this seems to be working. I'm still sticking with a little bit softer pad, so we're not taking huge chunks, but uh, I think this is gonna be the plan, and then we'll finish it off with, um, we're still gonna use Essence from Car Pro for the final coat, but I think this is what we're gonna use for the initial cut. So, how we just gotta do the whole car? Let's get it. just the first cut but it's coming out pretty good I don't know if you can tell in the time lapse but I'm missing a lot of these real tight spots especially up here by the window um, by the Ferrari emblem on the back and then all this is all this carbon back here some real tight radiuses I really need a one inch uh, pad but I'm gonna go to the little little I got it's a three inch tapered uh, Rupes pad same pad I've been using uh, six inches is just a smaller one with a taper so definitely let me get in all these tighter radiuses and the spots I don't know if you could see that I was kind of skipping um, when I was doing it with the, with the six inch so swap out the little guy and uh, finish off the back of the car here
All right, three hours or so for the first uh, cut. Came out pretty good. Um, now we're gonna hit it with Essence, which is uh, by far my favorite product right now. Um, Car Pro, definitely check this stuff out, guys. It's the gloss is unbelievable. It's a two on cut and a ten on gloss. So uh, final step, 99% uh, of the cars you're doing. The on and off, how easy this wipes off is unbelievable. I'm gonna be using my go-to uh, Rupes Fine Pad, um, Ultra Fine. This is their softest pad. Um, so yeah, it should really make this paint pop. I'm really excited to to see what it looks like. Right now, it's gonna have a little bit of a haze. I cut it with uh, you know a 10, um, which is the heaviest cut uh, that I have. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's come along. Definitely, you know, you gotta take your time when you're doing stuff like this. Um, an expensive car obviously but it uh it's just a car you got to remember remind yourself that too it's it's just paint and uh it's just another car so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna uh throw on the uh ultra fine pad essence and uh another three hours and uh this thing should be done ready for uh owner to come pick it up Nothing quite like a new pad. Really happy with that. He's putting PPF over the whole thing. I am just gonna spray some reload on it because uh, all he's gonna do, the only kit he has so far is here forward. So I'm just gonna put reload on it. It'll be easy to for him to strip that off if and when he does put film on the whole thing. But uh, yeah, real happy with how it came out. Carbon polished up great. That was kind of uh, probably showing its age more than anything is this carbon that came out awesome. I'll definitely put the link to this below, guys. Um, pick one of these up. This thing is awesome. I, uh, I really like it. I noticed in the video, I didn't have my hose on full blast, so it usually has a little bit more pressure than it did today, but love this thing. Definitely pick one of those up if you're into detailing, or I actually did my gutters with it too. It's a pretty handy tool for sure. Check the link in the description for that.
All right, guys, something just a little bit different in this video, obviously. Uh, I'm real stoked with how the car came out. Hopefully the owner is going to be real happy when he picks it up here in a few hours. But we're going to get back to the build breakdowns and the racing and uh, the normal stuff for the channel now that the weather's finally broke here in Michigan. But I thought it was kind of cool to, uh, you know, bring you guys one of, these, one of these paint corrections that I do. I try to do one car a week. It's what allows me to go racing and buy race car parts and trailers. And, you know, it's an expensive hobby, but... Uh, you know, detailing cars and paint correction and ceramic coatings, uh, what allows me to do it, the day job, definitely doesn't pay for uh, the racing habits. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this car came out. Hopefully the owner's real stoked too. Definitely click the link, guys, if you're interested in the power washer. The thing is awesome. I'm not just saying that, it's really cool for sure. It's definitely an awesome tool to have uh, in the garage if you're a detailer um, or just a weekend warrior cleaning cars. So. Um, if you like this kind of content, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you do. Thanks for watching. Peace.